everyone. Welcome again to Mrs. Rogers Live. Now, happy Friday once again. Already drunk half my glass. Only half? Uh, well, half only the bottle, half the glass? Half the glass. Nice. Well, the bottle's glass, I guess, hey? Yeah, it is. Mm. Well done. So, cheers. Welcome. Welcome. Come and see. Now, today, you need to stick around because I'm going to show you a really easy thing that you can do at home that tastes just like a very well-known fast food uh, product, fast food food. Fast food uh, food? A fast food food, but better because it's made at home. So what you need yourself is one of these big deep fryer things. If you don't have one of these, you can absolutely do it in the oven. It's not as crunchy, not as like kind of bad, not that fast <laughs> food feeling. It's not as... <laughs> Oh dear. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. We're doing keto, so we can eat as much fried food as we want. We just yeah. can't put the coating we on. We can't it. put the coating on. It's a treat meal. Oh, Carol, it's a treat meal. Carol likes the subway. So competition. Oh, sorry, yeah, yes. Competition. Competition is that you have to. If you could please share this video, um, and then like just let it, us know. Like and let us know. Just let us know. Yeah, so the first thing you can do is please share. Please. Yeah, please, please. share and um. And Alana, yes, subway. long weekend, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, weekend. I'm not Long keen weekend. on Subway. Really? Yeah, I know. But, it, well, we never stop working, yeah, so it doesn't true. matter. Um, but, yeah, for, for all of you folk out there who are not employed by yourselves, which really sucks, um, <laughs> have a nice long weekend. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not keen on Subway. Too much bread. I like the Subway. Yeah, no, but you can swap it out for the salad. Now it's well, a big answer. Thank you for sharing in the group. Yeah. Alana, well done. You're a Thanks, legend. Thanks, Alana. Thank you, you are always our best sharer. You are a star. Your mother taught you well. Okay. You're good at sharing. <laughs> good at sharing. <laughs> anyway, I am talking about Southern Fried Chicken Mix. Now, don't get confused with this. It's kind of nothing like the Southern Fried Chicken seasoning that the, that Mrs. Rogers do. That um, I actually find that's quite spicy. As you guys know, my mouth is um, only liking wine. Oh, grape soup. Well, Jim, Jimmy has just joined us. <laughs> Jimmy, hey, Jimmy. You, you, know, you know how, Cheers. you know how, what is it? You say Beetlejuice three times and um, Beetlejuice turns up. When you we, say grape soup once, once Jimmy turns Jimmy, up. Jimmy, boom. Well done. There you go. Look in the mirror, say grape soup, <laughs> boom. There he is. <laughs> so anyway, I am using this pre-done southern style chicken mix. Yes. It is really, really, really yum. Uh, and it, I don't find it too hot. My kids don't find it too hot. In fact, it's not hot at all. It hasn't really got any hot. No, no it hasn't. But that was my point. If you want to make it a bit spicy and a bit, uh, you know, sort of more like the spicy and hot variety that is out there that you can buy to, you can just add some cayenne pepper or some chili flakes if you actually want a bit of a kick in the face. So anyway, that's what we're using today. I just want to show you how 100% easy it is to use this product and create a good amount of volume uh, of dinner without the tragic expense that uh, this popular fast food chain can have. Now, I'm just doing chicken drums today. They were, they were cheap, they were on special, but if you really want to uh, do the whole thing, you can always just buy your own chicken and chop it up. So, or buy chicken pieces, buy frozen chicken pieces, just as long as it's chicken pieces. Even if it doesn't have the bone in it, you could probably do the same thing. You just probably don't need to cook it as long. Now, I'm just going to interrupt a little bit, so right. just to catch up on the, the, the comment. So, Jenny yes. likes wonton soup. I've never had wonton soup before, so I might have to give uh, that a try. Yeah, I like wontons, Yeah. so I probably like wonton soup. Tracy likes a good bit of Turkish takeaway oh, and pizza. Yeah, my favourite is Peter Thai. Pitt. My favourite is Thai food. I love oh, Thai food. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. It's expensive though. It's it is. Expensive. It's really pricey. But good. But good for you. But Hello, Mel. Mel called us beautiful people. She, clearly, she, clearly, I'm not on the clearly camera enough. Clearly, she can see that I've got a new uh, yeah. hair styling product. No. Yeah. And, and, and Jimmy, is, Jimmy has joined us in the in, with a bit of a drinky poo. Thank you. Woohoo! Go, Jimmy. Right. Sorry, so anyway, let's get on. cracking because this does take a little Brian, while to you, talk uh, to talk to cook. So paper towel is your friend. Mel likes the pita pit. Cool. What we are wanting to do is dry our chicken. So as I said. Now, I love to use metal or like this enamel uh, cookware. That enamel stuff is Mrs. Rogers. Yeah. This enamel stuff is Mrs. Mrs. Rogers. Rogers. Yep. Good for you. We're not talking about fingernails when I talk no. about enamel or paint. <laughs> so you want to dry your chicken. And as I said, I'm just using drums. 
And just remember to wash your hands thoroughly uh, with some antibacterial oh, soap. Jimmy had some um, red Thai curry last night. Did you oh. make it, Jimmy? Did you make it or did you buy did it? Did you buy it? So anyway, our chicken's dry. Now the whole point of doing that is because we just want to get all the moisture off it because now we're going to add some moisture just yeah. to spice it up. So hang on a sec, yeah. I just got to... Um, Donna loves the Thai food. Wash my hands. Milana pizza, yeah. With our new curtain, I can't I get like, to my soap. Lana also so. likes Chinese. I love Chinese. Chinese and pizza. I'm coming around to your house for dinner. Do you know what? I, you know? I get really bad flatulence with Chinese. <laughs> yeah, Just sharing. I, I, sharing I, I can attest to the fact that, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't know whether it's oh, the MSG awesome. or whatever. Well, yeah. it's horrible. Oh, Lana it's and Tony's hair looks lovely. You yeah. don't want to thank Lana. <laughs> Not my flatulence. And anyway. Shirley, we love you too, mate. Good to see you. Okay, so... so I have said in the recipe buttermilk. You don't have to use buttermilk, but I want to show a really easy, easy way to make a concept of buttermilk. Cool. Uh, so you've got some milk and some lemon juice. Now you can either do half milk, half plain yogurt. I find the lemon juice just curdles the milk awesomely. Yep. Awesomely. Yeah. And um, <laughs> sorry, Mel. Mel said that yes, Jimmy of course made his meal from scratch. Yeah. Yes, of yeah. course. She's in the group and she knows what Jimmy posts in she the group. She knows what Jimmy posts in the group. So yes. if you're not in the group, you need to get, get in the group. Get, there get in the group. So an egg. <laughs> I can tell him. I'm trying to do this all in a Little particular place. Yeah. Whereas normally I would be everywhere. Now I am only making half the amount that I have uh, put in the recipe. Uh, just hold it above the, just hold it above just so we can see. That's it. That's the. So go. can you see oh, that no. now? So it's curdling. So it's curdling. You don't. Yeah. So that's got one egg in it as well as the buttermilk. Oh, Margaret said she was off for a couple of days with some friends and I. We had a lovely weekend. She loved the recipe with prawns. Good on you. Prawns. Oh, could we use, with the prawn one? You could use chicken or pieces or scallops, eh? Oh, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Scallops all the way. Go there on. Go. There you go. There's your okay. homemade buttermilk. So there's your homemade buttermilk with an egg, egg added, Ed, egg. egg. Now ideally we'd want to put that in the fridge for at least half an hour, you could even do it overnight. What that does, and the whole purpose of using buttermilk as opposed to normal milk, is it slightly tenderizes the meat. Mm. So you're gonna have a softer chicken. However, I don't have one I prepared earlier because we just don't need that much southern fried chicken in, fried. in a house. So I'm and just gonna let that sit. Now, this bag, We'll do eight to ten pieces of chicken, which is pretty much your normal family serve. But I don't like to use the whole bag straight away. I am just using a sprinkle around about half. And I'm going to use these tongs. Now that's the other thing. If you are deep frying, make sure you've got metal tongs. I'm going to use plastic tongs just to do this part. Okay, good. Glad just we sorted that out. to confirm that. Well done. I've now, just a couple it. of comments that are coming in. Hello, Deb, good to see you. And Alana's back with the terrible puns saying it's excellent. Ah. Ah. Shocker. Uh, and Rachel, I agree with you. There is nothing like blooming fish and chips at the beach. Oh, Good fish yeah. and chips at the beach. Just, with great even, potato. Even in um, winter, sitting there with, with rugged up. And rugged up, there with your stuff having and the seagulls trying oh, to snatch your fish and chips from oh, you. Oh yeah. god, it couldn't get better. Oh. And Donna, get how she has an issue with MSG gets migraines. Yeah, I yeah. think that's so me too. You that's get the right. farts and the migraines. I, yeah, just don't eat Chinese food for me. Just don't. Oh, you know how people dear. have like a gluten intolerance? I have a Chinese food intolerance. And then I have an intolerance with being in the same room. Actually, if oh, I um, very rude, isn't it? If if I uh you know just make it myself it's fine so it probably yeah. is the MSG it's okay right. so I'm wanting to show you. you could stop there oh no MSG in this as well and oh yeah gosh yeah, no yeah. we have salt yes. uh, you could stop there if you wanted to however I'm going to show you a little trick oh yep. wait wait I've changed the camera so I'm gonna have to, can well, you put your trick in the middle my middle where the where the, can I go like where, that yeah that, that'll do because that that's between. balancing on top of the hot oil yeah that yeah. works that works. So here's your trick. We need a new kitchen. Okay. So yeah. here's your trick to make the coating really, really great. So you can see I've coated that once. Watch what I do now. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I know you probably can't see that. No, Dip it back yeah. into. Kidding. You are kidding me. I know. That's ridiculous. <gasps> yeah. And then it's going to get oh nice. Oh, it's singing Friday, apparently. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. 
Um, Mel, Mel tried this last time using the pan, which, hey, nothing wrong with the old pan fried. Nothing but, wrong. But, you know, $20 blooming deep fryer. Yeah, honestly, I got this from Kmart. deep fry everything all the time. It's just fun. Yeah. Now, we're doing that. I'm switching. Right. Actually, I'm going to use my, actually, your industrial strength my, tongs. My tongs and the barbecue tongs. So, I'm okay. going to pop that guy there. And I'm going to sizzle him in. Now, I've preheated yeah. my deep fryer to 170. Now, with chicken, unfortunately, you can't, you know, fry it hard and fast. You've got to fry it, fry it a little bit more long and slow because, obviously, we don't want to die from salmonella. And Deb, there's no bacon, no. Sorry, Jimmy and Deb. There's Sorry. no bacon today. No bacon but, today. But hey, you know what would be cool? Oh, I just had a thought. You could wrap your chicken in the bacon. Yeah. And like we did a time before, and then you could um, deep, then you could put your coating on it, and then yeah. you can deep fry it, and then you can double cut. And, oh. Yeah, I was scared of burning down the the kitchen Deb. again. Actually, everybody, do me a favor, go back and watch that. Actually, I'll find because it. Because I I just calm my farm <laughs> so well, and I'm paranoid because while I'm filming. This is how good of an actor I am, actress. Yeah, actress. Because uh, Ben's like, oh, I didn't know you were really worried the kitchen was going to explode. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I was. We, we made, um, so anyway. we've talked about it before, but we made a massive burger. Here we go. Chicken burger as big as your head. I will post it in the chat. Yeah, so and watch it. So you can scroll through and um, watch back to uh, us burning the house down. <laughs> Us? Almost. Me. Well, yeah, it would have been yeah. a great one for the insurance company. It how did funny. you do it? Well, you can actually see how oh, I did chicken it. Chicken burger, as big as your head. There you go. Yeah. Okay, oh, so. Melanie's already got a deep fryer. So this oh, is, there you Mel. go, supermarket, deep, something do, deep do, fried, do. something chicken coating, down, boom. Do, 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 and do, And Lana's got do, a six do. and one, perfect. And this is why you need a glass of wine. What, so you can drink and burn yourself? So I can drink in front of other people, yeah. Excellent. So now we were talking about um, the, the cost of chicken. So yeah. at the moment, chicken um, pieces or chicken wings are really expensive because they're really popular. Because they're in vogue. They're in vogue. In but if you buy a whole chicken, uh, butterfly it first and then just chop it up. Like Google yeah. how to chop up a chicken into pieces or something. It's not hard to do as long as you've got a big sharp knife. Oh, now Donna also wants to know um, yes. what oil to use in the fryer. Now. Now there is a bit of discussion about this. Donna, good discussion. question. Thank Very you, good question, Very and thanks for bringing this up. Donna. Now, I'm actually using canola oil purely because in my deep fryer I need three litres. If I had millions of dollars, I'd probably use <laughs> coconut oil. Yeah, we used we used coconut oil for a while there, but then yeah. we just. It was great. I was trying to reuse really well. it far too many times. It was one of the reasons why everything went pear shaped. Was no, it was just no. because it was so, so big. It, it was so big. I actually needed twice the deep fryer. Yeah. It was fun though. It was great. It tasted awesome. It was like a camembert mm. wrapped in bacon, wrapped in bacon. stuffed inside two chicken mm. breasts, which had been melted. It's like a tadakan button. Uh, yeah, what was it? It was a. Oh, you had a word cam, for it. Cam, cam, cam bacon chicken. Bacon or something. Bacon. I don't know. It was, fine. It was awesome. Jimmy says rice bran oil is good for deep Rice bran oil is yep. brilliant. Again, it's pricey. Um, I, I tend to go with coconut oil or rice bran oil if I have a choice. <laughs> but this However, time we went with canola. This time I've just gone with basic canola oil. And you know what? If it's like a sometimes food, who cares? Yeah, this is a treat. This is a treat food. This is a real treat food. Yeah. So How are we you, looking there? We're looking alright. They're looking divine. I'll do a quick lift up so you can see on the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. So, well done. You want to cook these for sort of ten to fifteen minutes, depending on the size of your drums. Obviously, if you've got smaller pieces, you can cook it for less. Bigger pieces, you need to cook it for more. So you're gonna need to judge and probably have yep. a test try. Now, can I ask a favour? There are a couple of people doing it, but if you hit, can you hit the love icon because that helps oh. with the sharing. If we we, we love really love. love doing these um, these videos, uh, and our reach is okay, um, and we have lots of really good people coming back and watching us. But we'd love to extend this because we we just well, we like doing what we're doing. It's fun. We just we so love doing love this. Button. We love like talking. We like talking. We got friends. Do appreciate it. Um, yeah, and so, oh, Raylene says fried chicken's her favourite takeaway. So Raylene. Yeah. Try this, this see what you think. Get We're actually going chicken. to do an on-camera live taste test because we, we have bought I'm gonna do that. some of the uh, uh, well-known uh, fast food chain who specializes in southern fried chicken. Can't say the name, obviously. 
so we are going to do a live taste test of what we think. There's some of it sitting there on the bench ready to be uh, ready, ready to, to be, be consumed. consumed it. Yeah. It we'll will get be that. getting to taste testing temperature. It will be. Which it is will great. Be. It will. Leanne, I love a bit of chicken and prawn pad thai as well. I do. I really do. Really, nice. really nice. So what are we doing on the weekend? What's happening? Long Is weekend. anybody going, going away? away. Any, yeah. Doing, doing Ooh. things. Oh, crikey, it's spinning in. It's exploding. I picked up my wine and it's all going pear shaped. Actually, one of the things that, um, thanks Jenny for sharing, that's fantastic. One of the things that I learned about um, chicken, um, the thigh, well, you know about chicken, but thigh meat is really cheap and you did some chicken, um, what were they? What are they called? Chicken? Popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. chicken. Yes, yeah, so this is really trick. great with popcorn chicken. What I actually did for the kids, and not that I'm going to promote this, but I added a little bit of flour. So we I are actually promoting used, it, you just said. So. I know, I just said that, eh? Yeah, that's right. Such is life. I'm not going to promote it, though. I'm not adding <laughs> money to it. I don't know. I'm going to tell you a hint. With kids, my kids, their palates are just so soft and gentle that they're not ruined by wine and alcohol that... <laughs> That they are, uh, they're not that pleased often with what I cook. Yeah. So if I'm doing it for them, I'll do, for example, this for us, and then I'll add a little bit of flour to the leftover southern fried chicken yep. style, dice up the uh, the thighs really quite small, yeah. toss it through, even put it in a bag and shake, shake the hell up. out of it. And then deep fry it for them. They love it. And it tastes just like popcorn chicken. Okay. Mel's just, giving, really nice. Mel's just giving me a shout out, or just a shout out to the stuff on the screen. Thank you, Mel. So there's a call out to go to visit the YouTube channel, things like that. Yeah. That's good. Oh, and Rachel, you moved to Tauranga. Fantastic. Oh, brilliant. So, you're go, go, move. so you've moved to Tauranga, but you're going to some open homes. So what, are you living in the car? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's a bit scary. Or are you living in the open homes? Oh. Like saying, I would like to test taste this. <laughs> Or we'll test run this night. <laughs> well, maybe a month. I wonder if you could do that. That'd that would be, awesome. be really good. That'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, Samantha loves the Chinese food. Yeah, we talk. If Samantha, if you're just joining us, Chinese food causes migraines. No, for you it causes something else. Flatulence. I'm gonna love that. I'm gonna get some mileage out of that. Well, it is my birthday uh, soon, so I'm thinking you will like piece together a video, a video of some sort yeah. to embarrass the heck That's out of me. That's what I do. Now, do you want to show off? I'm going to cut. So, do you want to show and lift up that chicken a little yep, bit? Yeah, I will. I'm just going like this because it's uh, cooking, and mm, I like my done. eyebrows. You do. Oh, hey, um, Lorraine just had a very good idea, right. on which I'm going to. Well, Go she on. shared obviously. Thank you, Lorraine. Adds a little milk. Add a little milk powder to the southern fried chicken mix, and it adds a bit of a caramel taste. Nice. So there you go. There you go. Actually, we talked about before. If you wanted something that was spicy and hot, not the other way around. Yes. Yes. Um, like you said, add, some add a little bit pepper. of cayenne pepper. Yeah. Cayenne, cayenne. Yeah, or a lot, lot if you or like a lot, really yeah. a lot. Well, she shouldn't have done that for me because I like the old hot and spicy. Well, I can do that with the leftover drum I've got uh, okay. left over. Well, well, why don't you do that then? That's a well, I, I might. I just don't think I have it it's handy. Ah. The cane Hang on, I'll just see. Okay, if I've well got. Done. I'll just try so not go to, to disconnect myself. Go to our, our rig there and have a look. Oh, well, actually, while you're there, can you turn off the light in the background because it's running out of power and it's flashing. So it's this is just party, live. Party, live. It's, it's getting on Fridays. I probably don't uh, know how to turn it off. I'll just put it on the floor then. It's fine. There go. Oh, there we go. Well done. Yeah. Well done. I even did it. Woo! Yep, oh, nice. don't trip up. Over my cord. I'm just going to see if I've got, got some cayenne, cayenne, pepper. cayenne pepper. Because what I store up here is all the usually all the things. It's my easy go-to things, yeah. and I love the fact that they have the little, uh, you know, info on the top, so I don't have to no, rip it all out. But whether or not it's there. Oh, maybe no, it it's not there. Oh, it's I'm not sorry. There. I've got chili, but good. what I'm going to do. And Lana's given you a. Oh, your chili's off. No. No, that's not it. Um, Alana is wishing you a happy birthday for your birthday when it comes around. Oh, thanks. It's still a couple of uh, months away, but yeah. uh, right, we're it's getting important to get it organised. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Right, nudge, nudge. I'm not sure what you've done on so that. we're getting close, but I'm just going to chuck some chilli. I'm just going to look. A few chilli flakes in there. Well done. It's great using... Mrs. Rogers resealable. Just checking in on that chicken. Thanks. Pretty good. I'm just going to try. Probably need to re-buttermilk this guy. 
Okay. This will be right. the most awesomest piece ever. It'd be like triple dip. Triple dip. <laughs> yum. But why not? Yum, yum, yum. Well, thank you for is that now. Thank you, everyone, for watching. So we are going to get this chicken yep, out in a minute. This and chicken, I'm do, just give me a, just give me a, sorry, yep, it another just takes minute. a little bit longer with the old. Um, we don't want to get food poisoning live on TV. Well, I hope not. Well, not horrible. TV. We're not on TV, but yeah. live. It's looking pretty good, though. Recorded live. I love it how they say that on TV. This is recorded live. I reckon that's been around 10 minutes, All right, if not more. So. I've got some paper towel, towel again, as my Welsh friend says. And towel. I'm just going to drain that. I'm also going to chuck in the spicy and hot piece. Hold on. I'm not going to chuck it in, actually. That would be oh, Margaret's got to go get three first of three buses. Margaret, you travel oh. safe. Have a lovely long weekend. And enjoy See the bus you ride. Thanks I for like coming in. You can always watch these later on on yeah. your phone or whatever. It's good. And Alana, it is looking like this. I'm going to actually, you know what I'm going to do? When are you re oh, we're, we're always I'm, ready for the taste testing. Well, I we? am. I just don't want to burn our face off. Okay. Okay, so I'm just, I'm going to leave that guy there. I'm actually going to good idea. shimmy that over. Good idea. Give him a shake because it does get stuck. I'm going to bring in the taste testing things. Move the good. product. So I'm going to go and get. You're going to come and get taste well, I'm gonna testers. Get, I'm going to do a little bit of camera work here. So this is, because there's only two of us, this is going to get a bit. A little tricky, bit tricky, but, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm also wearing my Day of the Dead today. Just gonna, that handle will be in the way, won't it, of the shot. So, which camera are we uh, doing? We, we, we we're going to this one, but I'm gonna adjust the Okay, camera. so we'll just keep talking. And we are going to do a live on camera taste test because I think you really need to. Uh, experience it and we've never done this so this is kind of fun for us as well so you, you're going to get a bit of a behind the scenes so you're going to get a bit of a behind the scenes shot here when i change camera because um oh. that's just the way that it is you ready okay just don't look at my dirty house because <laughs> this is our house everybody we're not in a studio this is where we live okay, coming in. okay you're coming in so where's my camera? Am I gimbling it now yeah, or, or, or am I over here? I'm on there. Hi, everybody. So this is how we used to do it. So, but how are you going to taste test? Am I taking over the... Yeah, you could do the camera. I could do the camera. But we're going to show the shot first. Remember, I don't have a microphone. So okay. So Ben hasn't got a microphone. So we just have to look at I it. I just have to yell. But his voice is loud enough that he gets told to shut up quite a lot. We are going to... Taste test three different varieties. Now we've got our store-bought takeaway plain. We've got our store-bought takeaway uh, it's quite, spicy. It's quite hot, quite spicy. And a little bit hot, although it's probably not that hot now because uh, it's been sitting there for 30 minutes. And our homemade Mrs. Rogers Southern Style chicken. You know the first thing to notice? What? The size? The size. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So look at that. That's, That's pathetic. Cool. That's a normal size drumstick that you can buy. I mean, I admit they're fairly large. Yeah. So that's normal. And then look at what else you... Let's have let's have taste testy time. So yeah, we'll okay. swap, cameras swap cameras and we'll taste test. Let's see how that goes. All right. Okay. So I'm coming on. And I'll have to yell. Okay. I think. We're actually just wanting to look at his reaction. All right. So More than anything. Sorry, everybody. All right. So I'm going to start with the... The stock standard. Stock standard. Well, I, I do quite like, to be honest. You do love, you do love that particular mm. takeaway. I actually really do. That, that's a genuine reaction because I don't get to eat that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get to eat it that much and it's good. It's keto friend, not keto friendly, no. so Ben doesn't get to eat it. So mm. let's see his reaction with this one. He no. loves that one. No. He loves the crispiness of the skin on that one and the kick in your face. <laughs> now he's going for the one that we've made at home, which is probably so, close to three times the meat on the other ones. Look at that. That's pathetic. Mm. Anyway, I'm going okay, in. Go in and don't burn yourself. Come closer. Come closer. Uh, I'm going to try it off the semi. Yeah. When I bite, you can hear the crispy skin. Mm -hmm. 
and it is just flaking away. And look at the look at the mm. the meat inside. Okay, leave some for me. Look at the oh, meat no. inside is so oh yeah, true. There's another one. The meat inside is so moist and just really, oh. really, really, really yum. So I mean the flavour it's different than the KFC. It's different. It's different than the KFC. Is it? Is, would you say there's more flavour? Because I yeah. find KFC quite That's bland. The difference. the difference is, if I go back from eating that and come back here, you're just eating a piece of hot chicken. Yeah. Yeah. That? It's awesome. Um, now you can't see comments on there, so apologies we can't see comments. We can't see comments, but we hope so. that you're enjoying this as much as uh, we are, oh. or he is, for that matter. Okay, you need to stop no, now because we need to no, wrap up. Oh mm, yeah, God forbid, touch the. Oh, God, it's so good. Mm. So good. Okay, so let's back. swap. Okay, let's swap back. Oh, let's swap. I'm back. trying not to um, oh, sorry, tangle. I'm go just going to do you a quick taste test. Still over the camera. Mmm, I do like the coating. The back there. Mm. Okay. I'm going to eat this one because he took all the coating off that one. It can't be that bad, obviously. Let's try. Oh, instantly. Yeah. Oh, that's, the flavour is so much better. I'm just better. checking up on these comments. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you're absolutely yep. right. It is. Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah, the, the the house is tidy. Thank you. Scrolling oh, back. Oh, thanks. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah, and Mel, it was a little bit hot, but not too bad. Um, mm. That is yummy. Try yeah, try try it at home. It is genuinely try it lovely. At home. Thank you, Glennis. It is genuinely lovely. The flavour. I mean, it's not a KFC flavour. I don't think we 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 can claim it as being a KFC oh, flavour. We're not allowed to say that. Oh, shivers. It's not. Damn it. We went so oh, well. I did well. <laughs> it's not a flavour that is like the chicken that you can buy. But that's fine. But that's it's okay. Different. And actually, if you, it, it is beautiful. It's beautiful. It has more flavour. I've got more flavour in my mouth now. Mm. Left over. And the thing is, than, mm. if you actually wanted, what I'm thinking they've done is got their 11 herbs and spices. This is the takeaway product. They've got their 11 herbs mm, and spices yum. and blended it out with quite a lot of flour. Yeah. Like possibly. it's very... We don't know. A, and possibly. So you're getting a better product. Well, you know what's in it. Read in the, read in the back. We, know, we say what, we say what, rest, what ingredients are on there. Yeah, so. the ingredients are on there. It tells all the uh, herbs and spices mm -hmm. quite there with the ingredients. You can say it. What do they say? It? Uh, okay. Right. I need my glasses. Paprika. <laughs> Pepper, white and black, mm -hmm. mustard, mm -hmm. coriander seed, ginger, garlic, celery seed, basil, thyme, and oregano. So there you it's go. So you, you could make this up, but our boffins are back at the um, back at the, the at the factories, the factory, the stirring processing factory, plant. Yes, they've worked it out. They've worked it out. Actually, se secret. Can I tell a secret? Go on. I was involved in taste testing. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah. I so wasn't. we we were we were given um, little batches to taste test, and so yeah, so we actually were involved in mm. the development of this product, which was pretty cool. That is so yum. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, Tori's saying that none of the supermarket stocks the southern style chicken coating. Yeah, we see this before. Some of the. Um, we can't control who has what, so go yeah, and ask for it. Just ask, ask for the supermarket yeah. for it. Or yeah. If you get really stuck and you really want to buy it, if you email um, our customer support. Yep. And Let's give your website. location and whereabouts you're looking, we'll see, um, we can look up who stocks it where. Yeah. And Alana's asking for a garlic bread recipe. Yep, let's do a garlic oh, bread recipe. Yep. I've got a couple of really good ones. Yeah, we should do that. Anyway. One involves Parmesan cheese, if my auntie doesn't mind giving that away. Oh, yes. But anyway, well done. thanks for joining us again. Thank you everyone for watching. Make thank sure you, for you have a most fantastic long that weekend, whatever you're doing. Deep fried goodness, Christine, you're absolutely right. And uh, rest, relax, put your feet up, make some yep. fried chicken and sit there and eat it. And yep. yeah, just have, have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Have a Kit Kat. <laughs> sorry, I just got one, one of the, the, Grace, sorry, I just spotted something. Yeah. Grace is saying that um, the sound of the deep fryer is so satisfying. I know. <laughs>
It's like a spa. You know when mm. the bubbles are in there? Not that I want to get in there, but you know. Yeah. It's like one, the chicken's yeah, having right, right. a spa. And one more, sorry, one more. I missed one. I'm just scrolling down to make sure we try to respond to everybody. Yeah. Um, Donnell Reed says they don't have much takeaways, but good fish and chips is a good with her three lads. It absolutely love the fish and chips. Mm. Love it. Look, we're getting lots of heart streaming through. Thank you, everyone, Thanks for watching. Everyone for have joining. a lovely weekend. Great and, weekend. Uh, we're going to go and eat yourself. some chicken. We are going to go and eat some chicken. Chicken. See ya. Bye. Yeah.